In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each atom here in H2SO3, sulfurous acid. So the white, those are the hydrogen, red, oxygen, and then we have our one sulfur here in the center. So we have these general rules, and those will help us figure out the oxidation numbers. So we know that hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal, has a plus one charge. So each hydrogen, that's plus one. We also know that oxygen has a minus two charge, except in a few instances. So we can put our minus two here for each oxygen. We also know that in a neutral compound, and this is a neutral compound because there's no plus or minus sign up here, all the oxidation numbers will add up to zero. So when we add all these numbers up, including the sulfur, it's going to equal zero. So you have plus one, plus two, plus minus two, minus two, minus two, that's a minus six, plus some number here is going to equal zero. So we can see that we need a four here for this to be equal to zero. That means the oxidation number on the central sulfur here is plus four. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements that we knew, for the hydrogens and then the oxygens. And based on those and the fact that everything here in a neutral compound adds up to zero, we could figure out the oxidation number on the sulfur here in the center. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in H2SO3, sulfurous acid. Thanks for watching.